The small sats can ride to space on our Falcon 9, Falcon Heavy, and in the not too distant future, Starship. Now we've got 114 spacecraft, including CubeSats, PicoSats, Microsats, and orbital transfer vehicles carrying spacecraft to be deployed at a later time in the mission. And as I mentioned earlier in the webcast, we are flying some payloads that are really cool to help monitor weather, environmental changes, greenhouse gases, satellites that improve communication for the Internet of Things, and satellites that will measure and investigate galactic cosmic rays and solar rays. Now, for the 114 spacecraft, there will be a total of 82 deployment events. Those will happen just past the T plus 58 minute mark, so just about a minute from now. And the payload deployments will last approximately 30 minutes. Now, unfortunately, we only have partial ground station coverage for the deployment sequence, and the ground stations are how we get our telemetry and these live views of the second stage. So. We won't have uh, coverage of all of the deployments visible today. But once we get ground station coverage back on the other side of that blackout, we'll expect to have telemetry and hear audio confirmation of the payload deploys that will occur during that period. It's also worth mentioning that because these spacecraft are being deployed in groups in quick succession, we may not be able to confirm every deployment in real time, while you will hear most of the callouts by our mission control operators, we will try to provide updates for any that we don't hear real time by the end of the webcast. We do have a full list of the payloads on SpaceX.com if you'd like to follow along. But for now, we're going to listen in as the payload deployment sequence is about to begin. Wait, that one. Separation confirmed. BD SAT 2, separation confirmed. Lemur 2, immaculate, separation confirmed. Lemur 2, Buen Tentaha 01, separation confirmed. Connect to T1.2, separation confirmed. Gamma Alpha, separation confirmed. Bro 8, separation confirmed. Newt, separation confirmed. Huygens, separation confirmed. Lemur 2, disclaimer, separation confirmed. Star Vibe, separation confirmed. Lemur 2, Steve Albers, separation confirmed. ISI launch Cleos KSF3A, separation confirmed.
Kirkland, separation confirmed. Space B, 156, 167, separation confirmed. Expected loss of signal, reef. Lemur 2 and Molo, separation confirmed. ISI launch, Cleos KSF-3B, separation confirmed. ISI launch Cleos KS F3C separation confirmed. Lemur 2 Filari, separation confirmed. ISI launch Cleos KS F3D, separation confirmed. Flock 4Y, separation confirmed. Audis, expected loss of signal. Space BD, ISI launch Poly 10 from Kiev, separation confirmed. Flock 4Y, separation confirmed. Guardian Alpha, separation confirmed. Flock 4Y, separation confirmed. Flock 4Y, separation confirmed. Space BD, Sony, Sphere 1, separation confirmed. ISI launch, Clyde Space, NSL SAT 2, separation confirmed. ISI launch Sternula 1, separation confirmed. Flock 4Y, separation confirmed. Flock 4Y, separation confirmed.
Flock 4Y, separation confirmed. Block 4Y, separation confirmed. Now at this time, we've had confirmation of 33 out of the 35 deployments, but because the spacecraft on this mission are small sats, it can be sometimes difficult for us to confirm the deployments in real time. So we're going to confirm with our teams and provide an update a bit later on in the broadcast. Now, I mentioned it earlier, but we are entering into a telemetry blackout period. During this time, we're expecting to deploy an additional 20 payloads. This loss of signal will last until about the T plus one hour and 16 minute mark. So we'll be back just before then to get confirmation of the payload deployments that occur during the telemetry outage as well as we'll be standing by for those final 27 deployments while we have telemetry back. For now, we're going to leave you with some space tunes, and we'll see you back around T plus one hour and 15 minutes. Expected loss of signal, bingo alarm.